Hell of a morning. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> so who are you? I'm a fucking shit bag. I am Dave Collins. Some people call me Dixie. <laughs> and uh, you uh, you work in a couple of rock and roll bands? I do. I do a little bit of work in a couple of rock and roll bands. Uh, play bass guitar and sing for Weed Eater. I play bass guitar for Buzz Oven. Um, I play banjo and acoustic bass and organ and lap steel for Barstool. Play bass guitar for Hell Hornet. That's about it right now. And uh, you've uh, toured with the Spoets. Yes, I have. Would you explain what's it like to, to go on tour with the Spoets in support of you? It's a hell of a lot of fun, man. They like to break a bunch of shit and raise a bunch of hell. They like naked people running around and blood and guts and broken shit. Firecrackers and shit on fire. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Now, there's a specific incident at the Ghost of Hollywood. Would you like to recount? Uh... I don't know how much I can recount of it. Um, Ghost of Hollywood is a club in Roanoke, Virginia. It used to be called the Iroquois. And uh, we played a show there with the Spoets one time. And uh, firecrackers were blazing all over the place. And from what I remember of it, the main, the main thing I remember is Scott throwing. I didn't know who had done it, but now I know. Apparently Scott threw a pack of jumping jacks or some sort of firecrackers up into the sound booth, which was hanging from the ceiling um, in a little crow's nest type of a deal with a ladder to get up there so that the sound man could run sound and be on top of the crowd and not be bothered. I guess that's what he thought. But uh, Scott threw a pack of firecrackers on top of their board. The guy dove out of the fucking crow's nest pretty much onto his back onto the ground. <laughs> It was pretty, pretty fucking funny. That's what I remember. But apparently there was also a pack of firecrackers that ended up in my hair at the time. I had dreadlocks at the time. I guess I never even noticed what had happened. And I guess my head was on fire or smoking or whatever. But that's, I guess that's just par for the course in a regular sports show. They acted like they didn't act like it was totally regular. <laughs> now I remember, I remember you got upset when I was putting your head out. I don't think I knew what was going on. I was I was like like patting your head because <laughs> you're because you were, you really were like on fire <laughs> yeah. and your hair was so fucking thick you had like yeah. pounds of fucking <laughs> hair on top of your head and and you could I don't think it had gotten hot enough that you could tell what was going on. I don't going think I had on. any idea what was going on. I was I think I was oblivious to it. <laughs> Caught up in the moment. Cool man. Having a good time. That's for sure. Never forget that one. Any other any other incidents you remember with Spoets? I remember that motherfucking grinder guitar shooting sparks about 15 feet into the fucking air and almost setting the club on fire everywhere we went, pretty much. I remember riding in Rick's van, laying up on top of a set of canary yellow drums. Um, other than that, I don't remember much of anything out of that entire <laughs> couple weeks, man. I really don't. We had us a good time, I know that much. Oh, super. That's for sure. <laughs> now, if you had if you had a, a rock and roll club, would you book Spoets? Am I the owner of this club? You're the owner of this club. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to. <laughs> I, I would want to. I would hope that the entire club was flame retardant. Um, obviously, all the staff would have to be retarded. Um, in a perfect world, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs>